What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen 720. And I am back with another video. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, got some date my, my I got a month taken off my sentence, so I'm down in four months. So I'll be up to doing live videos and stuff on this channel in four months, not six, four. So um so kudos to that, but I'm back. Sleeping with everybody, grandmother, and I'm back. The great cup of coffee. Also, too, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't gotten your big game of small talk paraphernalia, apparel, not paraphernalia, it's drug talk, apparel, the link will be down below. Also, too, my latest four or five videos, I will leave the link, I try, down below also. Um, like I said, what I'm going to do is to come back, because a lot of my videos are not showing up in a lot of people's uh inboxes and stuff because of the flag that I have but it is what it is man you know I'm not gonna let that shit stop me I'm gonna be putting out probably about two three videos a day because I have a lot of content on my heart I even got some old um debates that I never uploaded but here's the thing they're, they're kind of long they're like an hour long I will have to break them shits up you know I may, may just save those I might upload those to another channel I think it's me debating RXL me debating um this other, this other Sony dude, one day he hopped in a party to attack me. Shit was crazy as hell. Just destroyed him. And another pony. I don't even think he does YouTube anymore. I think me and it's I think it's me and a gamer Nate. Uh gamer Nate said so shout out to him. Uh debate or something. Uh me and him, one time me and him got behind, he got into it. Um I may upload that as well. I just gotta break him down. But anyway, like I said my last three, four videos I'll leave in the link below. Uh the, in the, the info box below. Shout out to the influx of new subscribers that I received also. Shout out to you guys. Um, on to the day's video. MPD. For August. Uh, Microsoft made a big push in August, but they still came up short to Sony. Uh, Microsoft released a statement. Then they said sales were up 26% over that. They sold over 200,000 Xbox Ones. Uh, for the month of August, uh, so did the PlayStation 4. They only lost by 7,000. Now, I know Microsoft had the Madden bundles, but Madden still sold better on the PlayStation 4. But here's the catch with every PlayStation 4 that was bought, Sony was given away a free copy of Madden, which were counted on the MPDs. Microsoft, when you bought a copy of Madden, you got the digital code, which was not not counted on the MPDs. So, Go figure. But Microsoft only lost by 7,000. Now, see, here's the thing. Probably in North America, the Xbox One is probably down by a million, if that. Um, in North America, here's the thing. You have what you call, like, all these little months, they're closed. 13,000, I think, was in June. You know, 20,000, you know, like, 15, you know what I mean? All these little months, 13,000, 7,000, 20,000. But come maybe October, November, December, Microsoft can win probably by over a million units. So I'm really expecting for this year the the Xbox if not surpass the PlayStation 4 in North America to at least break even, and that'll be huge. Especially going through all the what they're going through. Like if you uh, for those who don't think the Xbox One is doing well, you're bugging to fight through all the the. the the resolution gate, the DRM, and to be neck and neck with your biggest competitor after all you don't went through is huge. Now, like I said, um, you know, right now Sony is in the lead, but damn, they only lost by 7,000. So that's when you know things are close. When Sony is not bragging, and all they said we want, and they're not giving official numbers. You remember before when Sony would give their. 300,000 when the Xbox one was like 200,000 when they were winning by 100,000 and stuff like that They would announce their number or at least they was winning by 50,000. They would give you some hardcore numbers but when it's close All Sony says is uh, thank you. Thank you for the win. Um, you know, um, you know We got the best fans in the world something like that, but when they win big they come out and give you a number, you know They only won by 7,000 damn now September, I don't know if Forza will be enough to wing it for them, you know what I mean? But definitely October, you got Halo, 
November. You know what I mean? You got, oh, Jesus, you got Feeble, and you got still got Halo in November. You got Call of Duty in November. Um, and we, I know Sony has the uh, the marketing deal for Call of Duty, but, like, well, when you think of Call of Duty, you think of the Xbox. The prime example, when you think, most like you think of Metal Gear, you think of the PlayStation. You know what I mean? Um, damn. You can hear that shit drop. It was like boom, 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 boom. I'm just about to hop back on my metal game now. I got kind of distracted. I got fours or six. I can't upload on the game plan. I'm going to upload tomorrow because I don't want the shit to get flagged or anything like that. Um, I'm going to do a couple commentaries up behind the fours or six. I picked it up yesterday. I haven't yet to bust the box. This shit's. Hey, baby girl, bring me my fours up. When you come out, the, when you get out the shower, please, I'm shooting the video. I'm um, gonna so you guys holler at me. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be on this for a while here. I got my fantasy football over here bumping. You know what I mean? Fantasy football jumping. Um, checking the scores on my card and on my Xbox One. But um, yeah. Kudos to um, you know, man. Kudos to both Microsoft and Sony. Uh, Nintendo. Ah, man. You know, what I mean, the Wii U again. Then I think I sold about forty thousand units. Um, that they need to hurry. Now, there's rumors and shit that the Wii U is not going to be dropping, sorry, Nintendo is not going to be dropping their next console until, if they took a new handheld, supposed to come out in 16, which is going to be part of the Nintendo NX ecosystem, and the their console was supposed to come out later on that year or early in 2017. Nintendo can't afford to now uh, to, uh, to release their next generation console, home console, later in 2016. Here's the thing, like I've told crap before, and they look, you ever look at, listen, I want you guys that are big fans of big games, shout out to Crap Gamer, those of you guys that are big fans of big, you know, that rock out with big gamers, small talk, when me and Crap go at it, you know, we're not going, we, you know, we have our little debates, whatever the fuck the case may be, it's my dude, um, listen to looking at some of the things that I've said, you know, always online console is the world ready, you know what I mean, Crap is, is against it, Nintendo releasing their next generation console in 2016, you know what I mean? And you see now that when you think about it, because look, they don't have any software. Last time, you know what I mean? What they got in the term maker that just came out now. But before that, what was the last game that came out for the Wii U? It's hard to have a console on the market with no third party support whatsoever. And, the and, and listen, and if Nintendo again releases a console that's barely on par or slightly more powerful than the PS4 and the Xbox One, it's going to be the same thing all over again that happened with the Wii U. Because soon as the um, next Xbox Infinity or whatever you want to call it or the PlayStation 5 games out, comes out, the Wii U is going to be left in the dust all over again. You know what I mean? All over again. So they, because you got to realize this. This will be Nintendo's ninth generation's console, not their eighth. The Wii U was their eighth. You know, and they released the Wii U that was barely more powerful than the 360 and the PS3. So when the Xbox One came out and the PS4, the Wii U can't even run in these next generation engines. You know what I mean? You know, and for the record, I just want to say this again. The Xbox One is the only, will be the only certified Direct X12 console on the market. I just have to say that. Uh, but yeah, but even going back to the MPD, the 360 needs to die. You could, they got three of the top 10 games. They got three of the games. You know, or the you know the top ten, the three sixty, uh, some Disney game, Lego games, so, uh, like the three sixty. Microsoft really needs to pull the plug on the motherfucking three sixty. I get it; they're double dipping, they're making they. You know, I mean, they they're in no rush to do it because it's making them money. It's not like the original OG Xbox. As soon as the three sixty came out, they pulled the plug on that because for every Xbox, original Xbox, so they lost money because it wasn't supposed to be sold for two hundred dollars. They still had to pay the NVIDIA. They didn't own the rights to the GPU, the patent, you know what I mean? Everything in this Xbox One is custom. Everything in the 360 they own, you know what I mean? So they can, you know, once chips become smaller and stuff, they can, you know, make and they can save money. But the 360 is still making them a shitload of money. We're talking about Danny, 100 million goddamn. Before the lifetime is over, the, the 360 is going to sell over 100 million goddamn consoles, you know what I mean? They said they're starting to pull the plug already, though. They said in 2017, developers are going to stop being able to um, make, you know, submit games for the indie program and stuff, but they really, like I said, but they need to stop with these, you know, releases, I think this is going to be the last year, though, um, they shouldn't be a Tomb Raider on a 360, stop with all the, you know, the Call of Duties, you know, I, you know, that's not your say, now, the sports games, you have, you can't, you have nothing you can do about that, EA is going to, so they were still releasing FIFA for the PS2, like a year, two years ago, 
you know what I mean, real talk, in like countries like Brazil, Colombia, and shit like that, um, um, that shit blew my fucking mind, <laughs> because, know why it blew my mind, because uh, it was, um, it was a FIFA game on the PS2, outsold, um, I think Madden on the Wii U, and that shit just fucked me up, I was like, I couldn't believe, it. I did a video about it, I couldn't believe it, um, but anyway, um, that's what I can say, we never in the history of gaming don't have, once the, the Super Nintendo came out, you couldn't buy, like Mooch said, you couldn't buy Mario on the Super Nintendo, and then go off and get it on the the old Nintendo, nah, like, that shit needs to stop, man, all that cross-generation development, I hate it with a passion, like, I bought a next-generation console for a reason, there was no reason for me to upgrade if you're gonna release 90% of my library on last-generation consoles, like, that's stupid, it's being greedy, you know, if you want your future investment to thrive and to grow, you have to fully support it, and you're gonna have to start the wean wing support from the 360, I don't know how they're gonna do it, you know, probably if Don Max was still was all they probably been pulled the plug already, but the motherfuckers selling like hotcakes, you know what I mean? Well, third party has said they're all on board, you know, they they think this is the last year, you know, but it's still fucking active, and I guarantee you it's going to be a Call of Duty for the 360 and the PS3 next year. That's just fucking Activision, probably one of the worst developers in the world, all these dog shit. Who the fuck asked for a Deadpool remaster? A remake, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, you know what I mean? I, like, nobody asked for no design. They stop with all these remasters and remakes, man. Let's get down to some next generation games, man. What has the Activision brought to this generation besides Destiny and Call of Duty? Nothing else. Like, it's, it's time, like, come on with this shit now. But I'm sorry, I'm on a little, little, little rant just now. But anyway, this is your boy, Next Gen 720. I'm out of here. Like I said, get your, your big game of small talk apparel. The link will be down below. <laughs> And if you haven't checked out my previous videos, I'll leave a link down below to check out my last three or so. And if you haven't, subscribe, subscribe to your boy Next Gen 720. And as I always say, bang, bang. <laughs> Damn somebody grandmother got a fat ass. I'm out of here. Bang, bang.